have a look at this house here. Uh, they've kind of customized the house. If you look to the right hand side, that's what the house would have looked like previously. So they've given it like this authentic uh, Filipino style, this custom style, and they've added a deck. And it looks really lovely. I'm really liking this house. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's available for rent, but I can't find out. I'd say something like that would go for about 40,000 peso. Uh, look at this little guy. He's a little French bulldog. Someone's got a little Frenchie there. Bit interesting. Someone's left their golf buggy. And it looks like some form of barbecue or something. Here's another nice home in Skate Circuit. Not this one, but uh, the one to my right hand side. That is actually for rent. And I believe the best price you'll get that it's a four bedroom place. It is for sale or rent. I did actually have a look myself inside recently, and that's going for 40,000 peso. So, just roughly uh, 40,000 peso is about at the moment about $798 US. townhouses here. Oh, someone's got a porch. They must be doing all right with the 180% uh, uh, importation tax here in the Philippines. And behind there as well is also a basketball court. So there's a lot of wealthy people living here in Subic. It is a really safe and lovely place to live, especially in Palayaan Estate, which is where I live. And yeah, look, um, I have had a look at a lot of places uh, here and around here, um, but yeah, this is by far the best. Someone's got an Evo, Mitsubishi Evo there. Okay, now this one's interesting because these are, you know, kind of like unique townhouses here, this row of unique townhouses. I did see inside one of these, I couldn't film, which is, I'm just trying to find the right one. It's not that one. Had bars on the windows. Okay, so it's just coming up here to my right hand side so if you see the one with bars on the window not that one but the next one along this individual this guy i believe he was english and he was going back to england or something uh it was for sale and for rent i'm not sure if it's sold already internally it looked actually really really nice uh i did consider buying this one myself and he was asking a bit much it was about eight million peso uh, I thought it was only worth maybe about six, um, personally, but I think you could have rented that also. Maybe he has actually rented it, and, um, you know, rental on that would be, again, about 40,000 peso per month. Okay, if you see this one, this one was actually for rent. It was for rent for 35,000. It's a nice little townhome, uh, very sizable. You could park a few cars there. And yeah, 35,000 is pretty bloody good actually. Here's a little bit of a playground for kids to play. There is also a, a hoop there uh, for shooting hoops and that sort of thing. But behind us is this really lovely view. So I'm just gonna get out of the car and show you that view. You can see an old watchtower there as well. Pretty cool stuff. I think it was built during uh, the days the Navy was uh, here in Subic Bay. So let's get out and let's have a look. Yeah, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but behind these trees is the bay. So there's this gorgeous view of Subic Bay and the mountains. I'm gonna go around here, see if I can get a better look for you guys and just show you, you know, some of the places here do have these really lovely outlooks. Yeah, it's really hard to get the right position but you you get the idea anyway 
You got the jungle, the triple canopy jungle behind us. And these beautiful trees and behind it, you, you do have the bay. It's just hard to see through the trees. The housing looks pretty average, pretty boring from the outside, but actually you'll notice that inside a lot of these buildings is like old ducted air conditioning and they're really well built. And uh, inside's quite lovely in a lot of these uh, townhouses. So don't put, be put out, off by the outside. As you saw, um, you know, with one of them that had the Filipino style and as like you can see with this one, they have been able to like add on a deck and you know, in particular this one they've done a garage and this sort of thing. So you can make material changes to the front. It's just all really uh, aesthetics. So I wouldn't be put off by that at all. Lovely plants and flowers there. And coming up to my right hand side is someone that's you know already made some changes to their townhouse it's kind of like a mexican hacienda style this one um yeah it wouldn't be that hard to do uh definitely wouldn't be that hard to do obviously you do need to apply to the sbma to get an approval for that but uh you know once done it looks really lovely this guy to the right hand side, he's made some changes as well. Not as as is uh, as extensive as his neighbor, but still really lovely. He's got a really lovely garden to the right hand side here. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that flower. What is that? It looks like some kind of Hawaiian flower. really want to show you guys is this place on the corner so it looks like he's amalgamated two townhouses but what's really interesting is the garage and there's a few houses like this not just this one but uh, this is one uh, worth having a look at check that out so that is a custom see-through garage he's got some GT BMW a Ferrari and a brand new Land Cruiser Look at that Ferrari, pretty cool. I'm in the way, so I better get out of the way for this car. Okay, so the cars aren't there at the moment, but this house here, um, he's got trees in the front, so you can't really see. Uh, but usually there's at least like an AMG or a Bentley parked out the front. I'll try and get another shot another day, but uh, yeah, he's got some really cool cars there. So yeah, there is money here in Subic Bay. Uh, probably mostly, um, you know, it's not just foreigners here. It, it, it's a bit of a mix. It's half foreigners and Filipinos. Alright, time to go. Let's keep looking because I've got to find something for my mate.